Hey guys. So I'm going for my 30 minute walk. My 30 minute walk. Like, subscribe, and share this, and hit the notification. Make sure you make a comment, leave your cash app. Because I randomly pick people, you know, pay for lunch, pay for dinner, you know. I give away money on my channel. So how you do anything is how you do everything. I'm telling my daughter this. If your physical health don't matter to you, your mental health won't matter to you. Your emotional health won't matter to you. And your financial health, damn sure, won't matter to you. So how we do anything, guys, is how we do everything, right? It's like mind, body, soul, mind, body, spirit, right? How you do anything is how you do everything. In your relationships, it shows up. Shows up in your job. Um, shows up in, you know, like your family. You know, relationships, physical health, mental health, financial health, emotional health, spiritual. <laughs> so how you do anything, guys, is how you do everything. How you do anything is how you do everything. So I want you to think about how you do things with your spouse, with your children, you know, with your job, with your business. How do you do things and do you keep showing up. Does your personality keep showing up? Soon as, you know, you do something and you don't get the result that you want, do you give up in relationships, at your job, uh, you know, with business, finances, learning something new, right? So how you do anything is how you do everything. When it's time to invest in yourself, do you hesitate? Right? When it's time to, you know, do something or go somewhere, do you hesitate? Right? When it's time to make a new move, do you hesitate? Right? Do you hesitate? Right? So, again, how you do anything, guys, is how you do everything. If you're obese, guess what? Your physical health is out of order. Guess what? Your financial health is also out of order. Your emotional health is also out of order. <laughs> Your spiritual health is also out of order, right? So, how we do anything, guys, is how we do everything. So, people often ask me, well, I want to make money. You know, I want to make money online. I want to make money from home. But if you follow me, I'm all about wealth. I'm all about let's set a foundation for wealth, right? Because everybody that come through my courses, you didn't just watch two videos, three videos. You damn near watch 20 to 100 videos from me, right? So people always say, you know, they want to make money. Now I love helping people make money. They first thousand, they first hundred dollars, they first thousand dollars the first five hundred dollars right but what people fail to realize is that it's a mindset right it's a mindset in order for you to make the type of money that you've never made you can't think you're gonna get it with the mindset that got to that that got you to where you are now, so your mindset has to change, right? So this is why when anyone takes my courses, we go over mindset, making sure you understand that there is a mindset that comes behind, <laughs> okay, making your own type of money. So you don't need a mindset, you know, for your job because your brain is already washed. Your mother, your pastor, everybody done brainwashed you and said, go to work, go to school, get a job, listen to your boss. So really, at a job, you don't got to think. There's no real thinking, right? It's just, okay, well, I got to wake up, I got to be work at nine. I know I'll leave at five. There's no real thinking. If I need to get something done, my boss is going to tell me what to do. Ain't no thinking involved, right? You go home, watch TV, 
eat some ice cream, go to bed, wake up, do it all over again, all right? But in business, see, you the boss. You gotta tell yourself when to wake up. You gotta tell yourself when to leave. You gotta tell yourself when to stop. You gotta tell yourself when to deadline. You gotta tell yourself when to go. You gotta tell yourself when to read. You gotta tell yourself when to invest in yourself, all right? So it's different. That's why the line of work that I do, I coach people. People are gonna always need a coach. People are gonna always need a mentor. People are gonna always need guidance. So if I keep leveling up and I keep helping people and I keep helping myself, right? And I keep putting the right stuff in my mind and I keep leveling up, doing different things, making different money, going different places, by default, I'm able to help more people, right? So if I didn't have the mindset of Tanisha, go for a 30 minute walk. I'll be home right now eating fried chicken and, and, and peas and rice and all kind of shit. All right, Tanisha, go, you know, call one of your clients. See how one of your clients is doing. Or, you know, call 10 of your customers. See how your customers is doing, right? Or send out an email. Like I got to be able to tell myself what to do. That's why in entrepreneurship and building your own and doing your own thing, you have to have a system, right? Because if not, you will be all over the place. You have to have a system in place. You can't just be all over the place. At your job, the system is nine to five, bring your ass to work, leave when we tell you to leave, eat when we tell you to eat, <laughs> and we're gonna pay you what we think you're worth. And if you don't do it, we're gonna fire you. That's the system right there for your job. But in your business, you have to create your own system. Right? What are you gonna do in the morning? What are you gonna do in the evening? What are you gonna do at night? What are you gonna do if you don't meet the deadline? What are the consequences in your business if you don't get it done? What are the rewards if you do get it done? What are the goals? What are the deadlines? Right? What's the system, the routine that you have? Right? So it's a mindset shift that everyone needs to adopt to win. I have to be able to tell myself physical strength is mastery, right? I got to be able to master certain things, master my mind, right? Mind over matter, right? Peace is what we all look for. But there's things that come with achieving peace that we have to do, right? So if I don't tell myself, Tanisha, Go to the gym 30 minutes a day or go to the gym for an hour, right? You know, an hour, three times a week. How am I taking care of my physical health? If I don't say, Tanisha, if you made 10 grand this month, you know, put three grand up and buy some stocks so that money can grow. All right? See, I got to be able to tell myself that. All right, Tanisha, create a course, right? Because there's people that want to get into drop shipping, you know, but they may not have 500. Right, but they want to make a little money. They want to get in, you know, where they fit in. <laughs> Create another course, Tanisha. Right? I got to tell myself, because I'm the boss, sis. <laughs> I got to tell myself what to do, when to do it. I got to tell myself when to do when to do it and how to do it. Like literally, I have to tell myself literally what to do, guys. Okay, I literally have to tell myself what to do. The boss at your job tells you what to do. Your boss in your business is you, so you gotta tell yourself what to do. And if all you tell yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm not bad enough, I'm not smart enough, I don't have enough money. I don't have the right look. Uh, you know, my hair ain't right. My money ain't right. My confidence ain't there. If you just telling yourself, I just told one of my clients today, I said, we are our worst enemy, right? So if you're the boss and you're telling yourself all this stuff, you don't even believe in yourself. If you're the boss and all you're saying is, oh, I can't, I can't move, I can't work, I can't go here, I can't do this, 
There ain't no boss talk. There ain't no boss. There ain't no bosses. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, I can't. Oh, my wig. Oh, my butt. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, my boyfriend. Oh, my husband. Like, every excuse. Bosses don't make excuses. They make shit happen. So, bosses don't make excuses. They just make shit happen. Your boss ain't making no excuse on why they can't tell you what to do. <laughs> Your boss ain't making no excuse on, you know, why you can't meet the damn deadline. Your boss ain't making no excuse. So again, it's a mindset. And in order for you to change your mindset, guys, you got to get into it. You got to start reading books. You got to go to events. You got to get to seminars. You got to invest in yourself. Again, our minds only conform to what we see, what we smell, what we know, and the environments that we're in. All right? So that's how we shape our life. Through the environments, through the smells, through the scenery, through the tastes, through the foods, and of course, the people that we are around. If you're only around your coworkers every doggone day, and all they talking about is a raise and stimulus checks, that's all you want, is a raise and a stimulus check. But if you're around bosses who talking about boss things, who talking about traveling, who talking about creating products, who talking about moving forward, who talking about getting money, then that's gonna be what you're gonna do too. You're a product, well we all are, a product of our environment. But you gotta change your mindset. So in order for you to start making a thousand, three thousand, four thousand now, I've seen someone make ten thousand and not train their mindset and quit because they couldn't take it. So in order for you to make a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, consistently, okay, consistently, not once, not twice, not three times, consistently on a consistent basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis, a yearly basis, you got to be consistent. And you gotta constantly level up. You gotta constantly train your mind. You gotta constantly get around winners. You gotta constantly go places. You guys follow me. I'm always trying to go somewhere. I don't wanna just stay at home with my kids and my husband. Yeah, I love my kids and my husband, but how they helping me level up, <clears throat> right? So I gotta get around the people that's at the levels that I wanna be at so I can level up. If you're around your coworkers, your coworkers ain't interested. You ain't interested in, in leveling up. And all you're seeing is coworkers who complaining about a car note and baby father drama and baby mama drama, right? You're like, damn, <laughs> fuck are they doing, <laughs> right? So you got to get around the environment, guys. So in order for you to start making money, <clears throat> in order for you to start making money, you stretch and shot, stretch. Stretch your back and everything. In order for you to start making money, look how beautiful the clouds are. In order, guys, for you to start making money, you have to change your mindset. And the only way to change your mindset, guys, is to get in the right environments of people that are also changing their mindset, right? And get around other people that want to see you win, right? Because your coworker want to see you do good as long as you don't come in there with a the bins. Everybody else driving Toyotas, you coming in with a Benz, everybody hating now. Like, what the fuck? Damn, I just decided to get me a new car, a better car, and everybody hating now? Yeah, well, because you're around losers. <laughs> losers don't want to see people doing better than them. Winners want to see people win. Winning better than them, not winning better than them, winning, period. <laughs> losers don't want to see you do better than them, period. So... You know, you got to make your next move, guys, your best move. You got to make your next move your best move. And if you don't make your next move your best move, guys, you're going to sulk and drown in your own situation. And it's only going to be all your fault. It's not going to be my fault because I'm trying to give you the map. I'm trying to give you the road map. I'm trying to give you, you know, free education through my free YouTube videos through the Internet. But if you're not willing to go to the next level, then why should anyone take you to the next level? 
If you're not willing to go to the next level in your heart and you're not willing to go to the next level in your mind, why would someone that's that was willing to go to the next level in their heart and willing to go to the next level in their mind come and take you to a next level? It don't make sense. You got to want this, right? You got to want to do more. You got to want to make an impact. You got to want to see yourself do better. Right? You got to wake up and say, man, I want to wake up, you know, with the pool. I want to wake up next to the beach. I want to wake up, you know, with a butler service. I want to wake up and go to my Bentley. Not just wake up in my mother's basement. Not just wake up in my mother's living room. Wake up in my grandmother's uh, car. No. I don't just keep waking up in this same house. No. Right? I don't want to keep waking up to the same person. Yeah, some people, you know, may have to get rid of your spouse who, who's holding you down. Right? <laughs> so... I mean, guys, you got to want to do more. You got to want to be better. You got to want to grow. And guess what, guys? Most importantly, you got to know what you want. You got to know, guys, what you want. What is it that you want? Money is not just the, just the goal. Do I want to sleep at night? Do I want to wake up feeling good in the morning? Do I want to wake up and give my kids a kiss in the morning? Do I want to feel good? What is it that I want? Because see, once you know what you want, you're going to work your ass off to get it. And guess what? Money literally becomes no issue. So black wealth, look how the look how it's changed. Black wealth 101, tiles are beautiful. Black wealth 101.net. Black wealth 101.net. Get in, change your mindset. I already got a hundred people in there. Change your mindset around money, success, wealth, riches, and winning. It's time. Black wealth 101.net. I'll see you guys in class.